This road has been known by many names. America's Road, the Main Street of America, the Will Rogers Highway, the Mother Road. Most just call it Route 66. In its 90-year history, this American byway has meant many different things to those who have traveled it. For some, it meant deliverance. For others, it meant freedom. Two lanes stretching, as the song says, more than 2,000 miles from Chicago to Los Angeles. It started with the first building of each main town and ended with the last building. It was the main street in so many towns. Route 66 was designed to link a series of main streets across the country, rolling with the landscape east to west. Its design made 66 a near microcosm of America, linking small towns and cities by automobile. Just a few years after its inception in 1926, Route 66 became a highway of hope for farmers fleeing the Dust Bowl and headed for California. For many, this stretch of highway that slices through the Mojave Desert from Needles, California to Barstow was an insurmountable obstacle. So many of them tried to plan it for night because of the excessive heat, because the vehicles were not very sophisticated. There was no air conditioning, there was no real creature comforts. After World War II, Route 66 began to epitomize the open road. It became a symbol of the American dream of freedom and individuality. It also gave birth to the American road trip. Better cars made it easier for families to hit the road, and they demanded restaurants, motels, and gas stations. In the small town of Anboy, California, Roadside stops like Roy's Motel and Cafe became familiar landmarks, its neon wedge sign visible for miles down the highway. But the American drive to hit the open road would ultimately herald the demise of Route 66. As cars evolved into ever larger and faster machines, so shrank the American patience with travel time. They wanted bigger roads, they wanted faster roads. You know, it was no longer how many towns do I have to go through, it's how quick can I get where I'm going. America had outgrown America's highway. As part of the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956, Interstate 40 was built in a straight line from Needles to Barstow, bypassing Route 66 and effectively cutting off all the towns along the way. Businesses that had been thriving for a number of years, all of a sudden the customers were gone. They didn't need the motel, they didn't need the little restaurant, they didn't need the gas station. Over the next 20 years, Route 66 would die a slow death until its decommissioning in 1984. Today, tourists stop at Roy's, but it isn't to check in to one of the white stucco bungalows. They stop to take kitschy photos in front of the sign that fades and falls apart a little more with each passing season. But there's hope yet. The highway that once transported travelers to destinations has become the destination. People come from all over the world just to drive on this famous slab of cement, and some come to walk. Our plan uh, is to walk Route 66, both Melanie, myself, and our two dogs. Um, and if all goes well, to continue on to New York City. With a modest investment, you could have lots of bike and walking traffic along this mythical route. It doesn't have to be cars. It was cars in an earlier generation. There's no reason it can't be biking and walking now. The National Park Service now recognizes 66 as a symbol of the American people's heritage of travel and their legacy of seeking a better life. And it's providing grants to restore areas and buildings along the road. These efforts may help preserve the crumbling highway, but it's unclear what will ultimately happen to the essence of Route 66. The allure of the open road, the promise of the unknown that every traveler seeks, could be like the distant blue hills, forever just out of reach.